it's time to get loud and say it with me. This is Monster Jam. Introducing the newest Monster Jam truck, driven by the reigning racing world finals champion, Tristan England, JCB Digatron. Foxborough, who's ready for the start of Monster Jam? It's time to kick things off with the JCB Racing Competition. All 12 trucks have been seeded into the bracket based on the results from last weekend in Atlanta Motor Speedway. We're going to follow the bracket from round one on to round two, eventually on to the semifinals, and then the racing finals where the fastest two will compete for the first 12 points towards the overall event championship. So, who's ready for JCB Racing? Coming up first, racing in the blue lane, Jamie Garner, El Toro Loco.
And his opponent racing out of the gray lane, Cody Saucier, Max D. This is the first meeting between these two all season. Cody Saucier forced into duty and Max D looking for his first racing win. They're set, let's go green. You can see how slick it is out on the track. Each one of these competitors going around about as gingerly as they possibly could. I'm being told by the Monster Jam officials that there's been a five second penalty assessed for both competitors for failing to get both front tires up the racing ramp as they cross. But your winner, despite the penalty, is El Toro Loco. El Toro Loco takes the win. Jamie Garner moving on to round number two. Coming up next, racing out of the blue lane, Todd LaDuke, Megalodon. And his opponent racing in the gray lane, Ryan DeSharoon, Shaker. These two matching up for the fifth time this season, and so far the advantage belongs to Shaker and Ryan Disharoon. However, Todd LaDuke, one of the fastest in the biz, they're on the line. Let's go green. We are going to check out the super glue glued to the action replay while the Monster Jam officials review the finish links timing system, which is accurate to one one thousandth of a second. They're also going to review any potential penalties. And there you see your winner, Megalodon. Todd LaDuke with a measure of revenge, and he will improve to 24 and 17 on the year and move into round number two. Round one, moving right along. Coming up next in the blue lane, it's Covenard, the Black Pearl. And his opponent racing in the gray lane, John Gordon, bad company. These two match up so well, and it is evidenced by the fact that they are tied with one win apiece in head-to-head -head competition. The Black Pearl inching closer to his starting line. Looks like Cole Venard is set, and now John Gordon trying to join him on his starting line. His tires look to be locked in. Only one will win. Who will it be? Ladies and gentlemen, you see just how slick it is out on the track. Your winner is the Black Pearl. 
Cole Bernard's progress was impeded by Bad Company. Getting stuck there on the race ramp. Also, John Gordon not able to successfully complete the course the way that it was designed. So that would have resulted in an automatic DQ regardless. So moving on is the Black Pearl as Colvinard will improve to 13 and 14 in head-to-head -head competition on the 2024 season. Coming up next, final matchup here in round number one in the blue lane, Nick Pagliarulo cracking. And his opponent racing out of the gray lane, Lindsey Reed, Lucas Stabilizer. This is the first meeting between these two all season long as well. A little rare to see a first matchup so late here in week 12, round number 20. But be that as it may, Lucas Stabilizer locked in, Kraken locked in. Let's go green. There's your winner, Lucas Stabilizer. That race seemed doomed to fail right off the starting line for Nick Pagliarulo and Kraken as he could not get the traction he needed. And it just got worse and worse as those BKT tires got gummed up with more and more New England mud. But either way, your winner, Lucas Stabilizer and Lindsey Reed. And there you can see the times up on the video board. 34.773 for your winner. 40.996 for your loser. Lucas Stabilizer is moving on. This is the second round of JCB Racing. The four fastest drivers have advanced to this round and are going to compete against the four drivers who had that automatic buy-in, but only four can make it to the semifinal round. Who's ready for more JCB Racing? Kicking off round number two in the blue lane with the reigning racing world champion, Tristan England, JCB Digatron. His opponent in the gray lane advancing from round one, Jamie Garner, El Toro Loco. These two going head to head, JCB Digatron sporting the second best racing winning percentage here on Stadium Championship Series East. And of course, he's got the target on his back of being the racing world champion. They're locked, let's go green. The champion has been knocked off. Your winner, El Toro Loco. Not only a huge victory. Not only a huge victory right there for El Toro Loco and Jamie Garner as he is a full second faster than his competitor, but that is huge implications for that possible series championship. So the plot thickens here in New England. Coming up next, advancing from round one, Todd LaDuke, Megalodon. His opponent, 
in the gray lane, Bryce Kinney, Great Clips, Mohawk Warrior. Two of the fiercest competitors here on Stadium Series East. Megalodon ready to go. Mohawk Warrior good. Let's go green. There's your winner, Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. A very impressive racing pass from Bryce Kenny, the former drag racer, straight line racer, looking very at home here in the mud behind the wheel of a Monster Jam truck. 31.089 for your winner, 33.907 for your loser. Great Clips Mohawk Warrior advancing to the final four. Coming up next, racing out of the blue lane, Matt Pagliarulo, Jester. And his opponent, Advancing from round number one, racing out of the gray lane, it's Covenard, the Black Pearl. These two going head to head for the third time this season, and so far it is a one to one tie, each with one win apiece. So not only will the winner move on to the final four of the semifinals, but they will also break the tie and gain bragging rights right here in Foxborough. Of course, we have two semifinalists already. El Tor Loco with a bit of an upset victory there over JCB Digatron as Jamie Garner able to send the reigning racing world champion home early. And then we saw Great Clips Mohawk Warrior Bryce Kenny take down Megalodon and Todd LaDuke. A great racing pass there from Bryce Kenny as he will be moving on as well. We still need two more semifinalists. And you can see just what a drudge it has been so far here in the muddy conditions in JCB Racing. It seems like all the drivers getting a little bit more use to the conditions of the track. We'll see if that trend continues. Of course, the track conditions will change constantly as they churn up more and more fresh dirt with each and every single racing pass. That said, it looks like the trap maintenance is all about wrapped up as our USHRA safety officials make their way back to the tunnel. It looks like we are just about set to get this round two race underway. So let's hear it one more time for Jester and the Black Pearl. They are refired. They are inching closer. The Black Pearl, Cole Vinard already has one pass out on the track. This will be the first one for Jester. They are now locked in. Let's go green. Some drivers just having a tougher time out there in the mud. This time, the winner is the Black Pearl. Colvinard will break the tie. Colvinard will move on. Meanwhile, it is a DNF, a did not finish for Jester and Matt Pagliarulo. 32.107 for your winner, Colvinard and the Black Pearl. Final matchup of round number two up first. Advancing from round one, it's Lindsey Reed, Lucas Stabilizer. 
And her opponent in the gray lane, Tyler Meninga, Grave Digger. Fifth meeting so far this season, and so far it is a three to one advantage in favor of the black and green team. Tyler Meninga and Grave Digger nearly unbeatable this season in JCB racing. But Lindsey Reed, no slouch behind the wheel of Lucas Stabilizer. Only one can win. Who will it be? Your winner is Grave Digger. It was a good effort from Lucas Stabilizer, but too much Tyler Menninger right there. Grave Digger will improve to an unbelievable 41 and eight in head-to-head -head competition on the season, and he will move on to the semifinal round for the 16th time this year. Monster Jam fans, this is the semi-final round of JCB Racing. The four fastest drivers have now advanced to this round, but only two can make it to the final round. Who's ready for more JCB Racing? The stage is set. Racing in the blue lane, El Toro Loco. Racing in the gray lane, Great Clips, Mohawk Warrior. El Toro Loco searching for his first racing competition win on the season. Great Clips Mohawk Warrior looking for JCB competition win number two on the year. Bryce Kenny set, Jamie Garner set, let's go green! Your winner is El Toro Loco. The unbelievable run for Jamie Garner will continue as he makes it to the finals for the first time this season. And he has done it in very impressive fashion. And that is a new fastest time of the evening, 30.937 for your winner, El Toro Loco. Once again, what a spectacular JCB racing competition it has been for Jamie Garner and El Toro Loco as he has gone through competitor after competitor. First, Cody Saussier, then the reigning racing world champ, Tristan England, and now one of the fastest men in the world behind the wheel of a monster jam truck, Bryce Kenny. That means we need one more finalist, and we've got another good matchup. It's going to be Cole Bernard in the Black Pearl taking on Tyler Meninga, Grave Digger. Nobody has more JCB Racing competition wins than Grave Digger here on this series. Cole Bernard locked in, Tyler Meninga locked in. Let's go green.
The song remains the same. Your winner, Grave Digger. It was another great effort on the track, this time from Colvinard and the Black Pearl, but once again, just too much Tyler Meninga as he will move on to the JCB Racing Finals for the 11th time this season. And there you see it on the board. We have a new fastest time, and now it belongs to Gravedigger 29.098. This is the final round of JCB Racing. The fastest two drivers have advanced to this round, but only one can win this champion com competition. Now, I have one question. Are you guys ready to meet your final contenders? Let's do it. What a matchup on our hands. Coming up first, racing out of the blue lane from Fortville, Indiana, Jamie Garner, El Toro Loco. And his opponent, racing out of the gray lane from Oskaloosa, Iowa, Tyler Meninga, Grave Digger. El Toro Loco in the finals for the first time, looking for win number one on the season. Meanwhile, Gravedigger here for the 11th time, looking for win number 10 on the season. David versus Goliath, let's go racing! <laughs> Jamie Garner was good, Tyler Meninga was better. Your winner, Grave Digger. And would you look at that time, Tyler Meninga mastering the mud to the tune of 29.888. As he will pick up JCB Racing win number 11 on the season. One more time for your winner, Tyler Meninga, Grave Digger. count them 11 now racing wins here in the 2024 season and you did it right here in the elements and the conditions congratulations yeah you know what it feels good this track was super super slick out here but it's drying up rather quick i think we're breaking down off that top layer down to the drier stuff on the bottom but man i'm having a blast out here foxborough are you guys having fun at monster jam so far you're the 2023 World Finals Great Clip Skills Champion. You're going to have to contest with this mud. What are you going to be doing to keep the momentum going here in the second competition? Yeah, you know, there's really only two moves you can do when the, when the, the track is this slick. So uh, I'm going to watch what everybody else is doing. I'm sure those uh, moves are going to be used and abused out here. But uh, I'm going to see what I can do. Maybe I can try and do it better than they did it. But like I said at the, at the in pre-show earlier, the louder you guys get when I pull out on this track, 
the harder I'm going to drive that grave digger truck. So, Foxborough, are you ready for more Monster Jam? Congratulations to our winner of JCB Racing, Tyler Meninga and Gravedigger. Let's take a look up at the video board and see how that affects the overall point standings with one competition down. And, of course, that means two more still to go. Right now, Gravedigger, of course, off the strength of that win with 12 points. He's followed by El Toro Loco with 11. The Black Pearl will round out the top three with 10. Then it's Great Clips Mohawk Warrior with nine points. JCB Digatron with eight. Meg Ladon with seven. We'll flip that over and we'll take a look at our bottom six with a little bit more work to do. Lucas Stabilizer in seventh place. We've got Jester with five points, Shaker with four, Max D with three, Kraken with two, and finally, Bad Company sitting down in 12th place. Coming up next, we're going to get a look at some of the most technical moves in our sport with the Great Clips Skills Challenge. But the conditions out here on this track are going to be tricky, and they're going to be treacherous for all of our Monster Jam superstars. So you may see some incredible moves. You may see things that you have never, ever seen before. But regardless, keep in mind, the drivers have two attempts to wow you with either their best two-wheel maneuver or one attempt at a show-stopping donut. So sit tight for the Great Clip Skills Challenge. Beautiful people, I'm here in section 116. Make some noise, 116, 216, 316. I'll see you guys up there. All right, we're about to have some fun really quick. I'm here now with Tim. Tim, who are you here with? My son, Patrick. Patrick, all right. Hey, Patrick, you having a good time? Yeah. He said, yeah. All right, cool. We're going to have a little fun here. We're going to do some trivia with Tyler Minica. Let's watch the Monster Jam video board. Make some noise, Gillette Stadium. Let's help them out. Shout it out if you think you know the right answer. I hear a lot of C's. I hear B. What do you think it is, Tim? B. He's going with B, 1982. Is he right? And he is right. That is correct. And you know what? I got an awesome, large gift for you right here. This is a Thundersaurus drop. Brought to you by Spin Master, and you can get your Spin Master wherever you buy your toys. Congrats, Tim. Enjoy, kiddo. Monster Jam fans, we did tell you that there was a chance here this evening that Tyler Meninga and Gravedigger could clinch the Series Points Championship. Now, he has not yet, but he has increased his lead to 70 points over Tristan England and JCB Digatron. So he is getting close with two more competitions and 24 total points up for grabs. He is on track to potentially clinch right here in Foxborough. Of course, after each competition, we are going to do our best to keep you updated so you know whether or not you should stay in your seats just a little bit longer for that series championship presentation and right now you can see the points on the video board those are up to the second after jcb racing you can see 70 points on the board for gravedigger that's where he sits 70 points to the good over second place beautiful people i'm jabari here in section 117 here with keith Wow, what an amazing uh, artwork you have here. Did you do this yourself? 
I do. I do it to um, show support to the drivers. Been doing it since 2015 out here. Wow, so you've been drawing these since 2015. What is your favorite truck here? Uh, I like the Lucas Oil Stabilizer. The Lucas Stabilizer with Lindsey Reed? Oh, yeah, of course. So you got El Turo Loco I have here. Let's show the cameras. Who else you got here? We got Grave Digger. That's cool. So how long have you been drawing these at these events? Every show I go to, I draw every truck. Very cool. And you're from the area? Rhode Island. Rhode Island. That's close enough. Any Rhode Island fans in the house? All right, we got a few out here. Okay, well, thank you so much, Keith. These are really cool. I see he has Jester. Wow, Kraken. He has all of them. A lot of great work right here, man. Did you do this as well? You did this as well. This is so cool. A lot of artists here in Boston. That's awesome, guys. Thank you so much for coming out. Oh, wow, he did this in two days. Incredible, man. Good job. Good job. Uh, all right, guys. I think we are ready to have a little bit more fun here at Monster Jam. What do you say? Let's do it. Jabari is exactly right. We are just about to get started here with the Great Clip Skills Challenge. 12 more points on the line, but for a closer look at how you're going to take part in this competition, let's throw it right back down to Jabari Thomas to talk a little bit about JudgesZone.com. Jabari? That's right, John. JudgesZone.com is the place to be. What's happening, y'all? I see you guys. You're on the big screen right now, baby. All right. So I'm going to tell you guys how to score these next competitions. You go to JudgesZone.com. JudgesZone.com. You're not supposed to be taking a selfie. JudgesZone.com. <laughs> and we're going to put in the code FOX. Fox. We also have the QR code on the on the big screen up there if you want to take a photo or I sh I'm sorry, scan that QR code. It goes to judgeszone.com, that code FOX. Then you're going to see the BKT tire. You're going to slide that tire all the way up to score really high. Or you're going to move that tire all the way to the bottom to score low. And then you got 20 seconds to get those scores in. It's totally unscripted. It is going to be totally up to you guys to score these next competitions. Are you ready for more Monster Jam? Kicking things off, we're going to get a look at Cody Saucier, Max D. Remember Monster Jam fans here in attendance at Gillette Stadium and those watching around the world on YouTube Live. It might have been slippy, it might have been slidey during JCB Racing, but this competition right here is going to be the ultimate test for these drivers as they see which maneuvers they can execute. Will the dirt, will the ramps hold up? And so far, Cody Saucier gets the unfortunate position of being the first to go out and give it a shot. So he's going to set the bar here with his score, your scores, from judgeszone.com. Meanwhile, we get a great look at that Max D fire body from a couple of years ago at the Superstar Challenge. And we're going to see what Cody Saucier can do through the mud, through the rain, on the wet track here in the Great Clip Skills Challenge. <laughs> Off the side of the pod right there. That will go in the books as an attempt. So he has one attempt remaining. Make some noise for Cody Saucier. Max D. 
You have 20 seconds to lock in those scores at judgeszone.com. Cody Saucier out there braving the elements. Like I mentioned from a few moments ago, he goes first. He will set the bar. But you can see the truck definitely not doing everything he would want it to do. Then wisely going for Sky Wheelies in both attempts, making the best out of that run. And now we're moments away from finding out the score that you came up with here for Max D. 5.759, that is your score to beat. Coming up next, it's Ryan DeSharoon, Shaker. Make some noise for Ryan Disharoon, Shaker. You have 20 seconds to lock in those scores at judgeszone.com. Well, that didn't take long. One of our drivers coming out, sensing the track, going for the donut. And I think that is not going to be the last donut we see in this competition. Ryan Disharoon taking advantage of how slick the track is to execute a perfect donut. In that split design body, he's got the cherry red backdraft inspired on one side and the original shaker design on the other, paying tribute, of course, to the truck made famous by his father, Rick Disharoon. And now, let's see what you came up with from JudgesZone.com. 5.183, second place, score to beat, still with Max D. Coming up next, it's John Gordon, Bad Company. With the sky wheelie, he has one attempt remaining. Let's see. Let's hear it for John Gordon, Bad Company. Now's your time to go to judgeszone.com and lock in those scores. The run right there at the hands of John Gordon, basically the mirror image of the run that you saw from Cody Saucier and Max D kicking off this competition. Goes to one different obstacle and then goes to the same obstacle with very similar results. So now you have to compare that run to the run that's already in first place and decide which one is better. And I hope that you did because scoring is closed. And there you can see 4.999. That's not going to get it done. Third place for now for Bad Company. Coming up next, it's Nick Pagliarulo cracking.
Let's hear it for Nick Pagliarulo Kraken. 20 seconds to lock in those scores. Judgeszone.com. I know that the Kraken is a sea monster, but there is something so appropriate about watching that giant beast covered in mud here in Foxborough. Meanwhile, Nick Pagliarulo throwing down a very good run from start to finish. Again, the conditions, treacherous. Anything but perfect for the Great Clip Skills Challenge. Let's see if it was enough to take over that top spot. The score to beat, 5.759 with Max D. The score for Kraken is. Yes, indeed, we have a new leader. What an effort, what a score, 7.079. Coming up next, he is looking for skills challenge win number three on the season. It's Tristan England and the JCB Digatron. Tristan England unfazed by the mud and the dirt, getting it on the front two BKT tires and living on those front tires. Will he ever set it down? He rolls it into a combination and he has one attempt to go. Let's hear it for Tristan England, JCB Digatron. 20 seconds to lock in those scores at judgeszone.com. Man, oh man, what a run from Tristan England. He likes to refer to himself as the best on two wheels, and that first attempt was the highlight. You can see it on the super glue, glued to the action replay right there. It is picture perfect in any conditions, let alone the mud and the wet track here in Foxborough. Let's see what you came up with. We've got a new leader, and it is that man right there, Tristan England and the JCB Digatron. Our next competitor looking for skills challenge win number five on the year. Here comes Todd LaDuke, Megalodon.
You know, sometimes you see what works for one competitor and you go back out there and you try to do it better. That's what we saw right there from Megalodon going to the same spot that was successful for JCB Digatron. He has one attempt left. Let's hear it for Tyler Duke, Megalodon. 20 seconds to lock in those scores at judgeszone.com. You know, I was just about to say high risk, high reward coming your way. And it looks like it was a little bit more of the former in that second attempt going for his version of the maximum moonwalk using the trench box, the Morgan and Morgan backflip ramp but he could not get the traction that he needs, and he winds up on his lid. The first attempt was very good. The second attempt was valiant, but unsuccessful. Will it be enough to give him the top spot? Let's find out your scores. It's a good score, but only enough to take over third place, 6.922 for Todd Ledoux. While we have a break in the action, let's check out the standings thus far with six trucks having competed. That is half the field. And right now, JCB Digatron all alone in your top spot, followed by Kraken and Megalodon, who just ran moments ago all in your top three. That's going to push Max D, Shaker, and Bad Company down into fourth, fifth, and sixth. Still six more competitors to come here in the Great Clip Skills Challenge. Well, Monster Jam fans, I'm just going to give you an update on Jamie Garner and El Toro Loco as a broken drive or steering line. They were able to repair it, so you should be able to see him back here in the Great Clips Skills Challenge. Also, John Gordon and Bad Company, currently they're taking off the left corner to see if it's an inner or outer axle, but they do know it is an axle issue, and we'll keep you updated with more information if it's anything more than the axle. As we get ready to get into our next competitor, one more quick look there at the Great Clip Skills Challenge scores. And now the overall season standings. Remember, it looms large as Tyler Meninga increased his lead after that JCB Racing Competition win. He is now 70 points over second place. He needs about 15 more to clinch Stadium Series East Championship here tonight. Will he do it? That remains to be seen, but he is off to a great start. Meanwhile, back into the action, this time with the captain of Tom Foolery Motorsports, Matt Pagliarulo, Jester. Wow, let's hear it from Matt Pat. 
Pagliarulo, Jester. You have 20 seconds to lock in those scores at judgeszone.com. I don't know about you guys here in Foxborough, but I actually lost count of the revolutions. I mean, that was an unbelievable donut, and I don't care if the mud helped, if the mud hurt. That is about as good as it gets from Matt Pagliarulo. The question now becomes whether or not you thought that was more impressive than any of the runs that you've seen, specifically that first-place run from JCB Digatron. Matt Pagliarulo did all that he could, and there's your score, only a 6.290. Wow, tough crowd here in Foxborough tonight. Coming up next, it's Lindsey Reed, Lucas Stabilizer. Looks like Lindsey Reed has big air on her mind. Make some noise for Lindsey Reed, Lucas Stabilizer. 20 seconds to lock in those scores at judgeszone.com. Lindsey Reed is the 2019 Freestyle World Champion, and one of the ways you get there is by being absolutely fearless. And you saw a little snippet of that during her two-wheel run right here. Does not hold back. She didn't care about the mud. She didn't care about the lack of traction. She absolutely sends it two times for some big air, about as big as you can expect with the conditions of the dirt and the mud. But was that enough? To give her the top spot, we are going to find out here in just moments. Scores are locked in. Let's check in on first the score to beat JCB Digatron 8.955. The score for Lucas Stabilizer is... It is good, but it is not enough. Second place for Lindsey Reed. Beautiful people, I'm over here in section 113. 113, make some noise. 213, 313. I see you guys, even if it's the first row. Okay, we're going to have some fun right now. We are going to play Shruck and Pals. So everybody, let's watch the Monster Jam video board. We have, make some noise if you're rooting for El Turo Loco. Grave Digger. And Megalodon. Here we go. The truck and pals are ready as they get ready to start their racing. And they're off. We have Megalodon. He looks like he was in front, but looks like El Turo Loco is taking the lead. It's back to Megalodon. Gravedigger is catching up. And your winner is Megalodon. That was your Monster Jam Truck and Pals. Love that animated race. Love to see who comes out victorious. This time it was all the fans of Megalodon as we reset here with four more competitors still in the Great Clips.
We turn our attention up to the video board. JCB Digatron still in the lead. Lucas Stabilizer made it close. She's the closest thus far to that top spot, but she falls short. That pushes everybody else down the ladder. One rung. Kraken falls into third. Megalodon down into fourth. Jester in fifth. And Max D rounds out your top six. Four more competitors trying to knock JCB Digatron out of your top spot. Speaking of JCB, shout out to our JCB Dirt Squad. They have been busy here in New England all afternoon into the evening, not only making sure the track is fresh and the track is right, but also aiding in the recovery of those Monster Jam trucks. JCB keeping Monster Jam moving. Coming up next, it's Bryce Kenny, Great Clips, Mohawk Warrior. We may see another attempt at that Morgan and Morgan moonwalk. We'll see if Bryce Kenny likes what he feels underneath the weight of those BKT tires. Will he go for it? We've already seen one unsuccessful attempt from Megalodon. Like I mentioned before, high risk, high reward potential. He's able to get up on those BKT tires, but not able to stand up. That is one attempt down, one attempt remaining. You've got to admire the resiliency right here from Bryce Kenny. Going to the other side of the Morgan & Morgan backflip ramp. He is going for it again, ladies and gentlemen. He is trying to reset the bar here with a move that we did not think was possible. Let's hear it for Bryce Kinney, Great Clips, Mohawk Warrior. 20 seconds to lock in those scores at judgeszone.com. Man, oh man, I thought for a second there, Foxborough, I thought he had it right here. Let's look at it on the super glue, glue to the action replay. Right there, I thought he was able to stand it up and you can see, just cannot maintain the center of gravity, couldn't keep the balance he needed. And so he, like Megalodon before him, ends up on his lid. But what an effort from the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior and Bryce Kenny. Let's see how you rewarded that effort at judgeszone.com. Not bad, all things considered, 5.984. Sixth place for Bryce Kenny. Well, I'm standing by now with Todd LeDuc, driver of Megalodon, and we just we see the slippery conditions as well, just out here as well. Uh, talk to us a little bit about how Tristan England, driver of JCB Digitron, he kind of benefited from watching your run out there. No, no, that side over there, they, the, the dirt crew did an amazing job of sprinkling a little bit of sand, and uh, we were able to get him up there and get it balanced and stuff like that. And the, the only person that for sure is learning a lot from this is uh, El Toro Loco and Gravedigger. They're able to watch all of us make all these small little mistakes, and if they can put together a perfect run, you know, good, good for them. But it, it's just incredibly difficult out there. It is so slick and it's so muddy. These tires literally feel like you're floating on ice, like in the snow. You guys would know that, but just unbelievable, man. I, I tried my best over here. You know, when you're the first person, you don't know what's too little, too little, too too much. And I just got a little bit too much there and flipped over. But uh, we're, I'm doing it for your fans. You know, we, we have to get us caught back up in this championship. And, and to do that is we have to push the limits, you know, and we risked it all. And it didn't pay off. But, you know, congratulations, JCB, you know, Tristan. He needs to do what he's doing. And, and to stay ahead of Gravedigger in this championship chase is he has to win. So good for him. All right, well, Todd, thank you so much for getting us some of your insight, everybody. Todd LaDuke, driver of Megalodon.
Take another look right here up at the video board, and not much has changed with the exception of Great Clips Mohawk Warrior moving in to the top six, pushing Max D a little bit further down the board. But right now, JCB Digatron just talked about by Todd LaDuke still in the top spot as they are trying to hold off Gravedigger and Tyler Menninga, not only from winning this competition, but from clinching the series championship. A big win here for Tristan England would go a long way to that end. Three more competitors here in the Great Clip Skills Challenge, and the first one is Cole Venard, the Black Pearl. for Cole Venard, Black Pearl. You have 20 seconds to lock in those scores at judgeszone.com. I said it going way back to our second truck, which was Shaker going for that donut. I said we were going to see a lot of them. I've seen a few less donuts than I would have expected given the conditions, and that's because these drivers pulling out all the stops. We only come here to Foxborough one time a year, so they're trying to not be deterred by any of the weather, putting their best efforts forward, but specifically best efforts from Black Pearl and Cole Bernard right there. That was an unbelievable donut. Let's see your scores. There it is. He will jump into the top three, 7.410 for the Black Pearl. Here comes Jamie Garner, El Toro Loco. That was Jamie Garner, El Toro Loco. You have 20 seconds to lock in those scores at judgeszone.com. Let's take a look here at the Super Glue Glue to the Action Replay and see what went wrong. I think there, just no traction. He winds up on the rear of that tailgate of the body and a little bit of that chassis for the Monster Jam truck where the tires are not even touching the track. And of course, you're not going to get any traction regardless of the conditions if your tires are not firmly on the dirt. But I think the mud definitely prevented him from being able to set back down. Let's see what you guys came up with here for El Toro Loco. 4.912. Definitely hurt him rolling over there, leaving an attempt on the board. 11th place for Jamie Garner. Monster Jam fans, let's have a little bit of fun while we're at it. We are going to play something called the Hellman Shuffle. You guys ready to do this? It's very fun. You have to keep your eye on the trophy. Let's put it up here on the Monster Jam video board. It's under the middle one right now. But keep your eye on it because it's going to shuffle. All right, here we go. Okay, shout it out if you think you know the right answer. I see a lot of ones, I see twos. Yeah, what do you think it is? Three. He thinks it's three. Anybody else, anybody else? What do you think? One. He says one, how about you? I say one. One, let's go ahead and reveal them and let's see what we have. The first one, oh, it's not under one. That's okay, though. That's okay. We have two other trots. It's not under three. So it must be under two. Yeah, it was two all along. Thank you so much for playing the Monster Jam Helmet Shuffle. You guys ready for some more Monster Jam? Let's do it. 
We've got one final competitor here in the Great Clip Skills Challenge. And it is going to be a big time competitor because it is the reigning world champion on two wheels. And he did it in muddy, rainy conditions. Honestly, maybe a little bit worse than what we have here on a Saturday in Foxborough. And he's going to go head to head with JCB Digatron to see if he can finally knock Tristan England off of that top spot. He's also the competitor who has more skills challenge wins than anybody on Stadium Championship Series East. Ten in total. Can he make it two wins in a row? Can he increase that potential lead? We're going to find out here in just a moment as Tyler Meninga takes the track looking to make it two wins in a row. Monster Jam fans, we want you in the house at Monster Jam World Finals. It is coming your way in just about a month. You can buy tickets over at MonsterJam.com. SoFi Stadium, Los Angeles, four world champions crowned, and, of course, the largest pit party of the Monster Jam year. Monster Jam fans, a reminder to follow us on social media. We're on all the platforms. We are on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, X. It's all at Monster Jam. And if you use that hashtag Monster Jam, you could end up on the video board just like we've been showing everybody all event long. Look at those cute faces. If you use that hashtag Monster Jam, okay? So make sure you follow us at Monster Jam. Don't forget about our YouTube page. We are streaming live now to our YouTube. Hello, YouTube subscribers. Again, we're at Monster Jam. And here he comes, the reigning, defending, two-wheel skills, world finals champion, Tyler Meninga, Grave Digger. Tyler Meninga undeterred by the failures from other drivers in this same spot. Let's see what he's got. He is unable to stand it up. That counts as an attempt. Let's see if he goes back to the well here on the Morgan and Morgan backflip ramp. Let's hear it for Tyler Meninga, Grave Digger. 20 seconds to lock in those scores at judgeszone.com. You got to applaud the effort from Tyler Meninga right there. Also so technical, it's almost like he was determined to not roll over that Monster Jam truck as well. And maybe that's what hurt him. Maybe he needed to just be a little bit more, just gas it just a bit more. But you can see the approach never really gave him exactly what he wanted you're trying to hit that ramp about as squarely as you can let's see what you came up with from judgeszone.com 
A 5.156. That is not nearly enough. That means your winner is Tristan England, JCB Digatron. Here he comes, making his way out onto the track. Tristan England capturing win number three here in the Great Clip Skills Challenge. Let's hear from the man. What do you got, K Young? Tristan, you're ensuring that Tyler Menega and Gravedigger is going to have a hard time capturing a series season championship right here in Gillette Stadium. Congratulations. How hard was it to maintain that balance on those on that JCB Digatron truck? Well, I thought we were going to fare out and have a really dry track today. I've been super stoked to come out here to this event. It's Foxboro, man, at Gillette Stadium. You guys are absolutely nuts. Are you having a good time? I know they are ready to rock and roll, and we only have one more competition left. We've got Monster Jam Freestyle. It is a playground out here, especially for you. You love these types of conditions. How excited are you to bring that momentum into your freestyle? Well, I know if anybody shows up before the pre-event, I talk about playing with these Monster Jam trucks like they are Spin Master toys, man. And I do it every week with my son, Crash. He's four years old, and I know he's watching right now, dude. So we're about to come out here for freestyle. I don't care what the truck looks like. We're here in Foxborough. I just got to know one thing. Can you dig it? They definitely can dig it. Make some noise for Tristan England, driver of JCB Digatron. Congratulations right there to Tristan England and the JCB Digatron. He may have done all that he needs to do to push this series championship one more week, but one of them has just been wrapped up. Arena Championship Series Central. It goes to Weston Anderson and Gravedigger. Some up-to-the-minute results. I've just been given word by the Monster Jam officials that Weston Anderson has clinched it. You can make it three series championships in a row for young Weston Anderson who burst on the scene in his rookie year, became the youngest person to ever win a series, became the first rookie ever to win a series, and he backed it up in his sophomore year, and here in year number three, he has punched his ticket to Monster Jam World Finals. In the meantime, right here in Foxborough, we have reached halftime, and this is the perfect time for all of you to get out of your seats, stretch your legs, walk around the concourse, maybe even check out an official Monster Jam merchandise stand. Either way, sit tight. We're coming right back with more.
Foxborough during this halftime break. I'd like to direct your attention up to the video boards in either end zone for some very important VIP fan messages. And one of the coolest parts about Monster Jam is meeting amazing Monster Jam fans like these three. And not only are they here having a great time like all of you, but it's a little extra special because they are all celebrating birthdays here today. So, Foxborough, what do you say? On the count of three, can we say happy birthday to these three? One, two, three! There we go. And you know what? We are not going to send you home empty handed because what's a birthday without some birthday gifts? So we have some very special birthday prize packages for all three of you. There you go. That one's for you. He is mesmerized by being up here with the microphone and the camera. Happy birthday to all three of you. And ladies and gentlemen, if you ever want to be a part of the VIP birthday experience, you can do so next time you purchase tickets at monsterjam.com. Check out that little something extra to elevate your experience. Happy birthday again to all three of you. I hope you have fun during Monster Jam Freestyle.
You know, halftime is a break for all of you amazing Monster Jam fans. I hope you had the opportunity to get your hands on some Monster Jam gear, maybe get some refreshments, but it is not a break for our UNOH technicians, which means it is no kind of break for our pit reporter, Kay Young. Kay, I know you were busy in the crash area. What can you report as far as these Monster Jam trucks are concerned? Well, John, we're going to start off with John Gordon in Bad Company. I talked earlier a little bit about him potentially having an inner or outer axle issue. And we come to find out that was the inner axle. So John Gordon and Bad Company replaced, started, well, you can actually see up on the video board, was taking off that hub, that corner on the left side, and he was getting inside of there to get into the inner axle. Now, we're going to show a video in just a minute, but when he pulls out that inner axle, you can see that some of the teeth are actually shard off. And you can see right there, that is the U-joint. He said that a bolt broke off, and that's what ended up causing the issue there. But he has the hub back on. He has the BKT tire on. But now he have, is having some fuel injection, injection issues right now, and it's going in, the fuel is going into the cylinder, and he's causing some issues. So he's going to be diagnosing that right now. He's running around in the back there in the crash zone. So that's going, what's going on with John Gordon and Bad Company. We're going to talk a little bit about El Toro Loco and Jamie Gardner. Right now, they're bleeding the brakes. Now, what does bleeding the brakes mean? That means that the brake line potentially has an air bubble in it. And just like in your veins, you don't want an air bubble in your veins. It's catastrophic to the Monster Jam truck, just like it would be catastrophic to your health. So what he's doing is they're bleeding the brake lines to remove the potential air bubble that's in that brake line, and then they'll be ready to go. He said he feels confident he'll be ready for Monster Jam freestyle. Last but certainly not least, let's talk about Matt Pagliarulo and Jester. This is a solenoid, and this is causing him some rear steer issues. This is, sits on the steering ram, and what it does is it tells that from the toggle switch to bring power to the rear steer system. So this is your power in, and this is your power out. But he said it wasn't giving any power, it was reading, so his rear steer was messed up. So they just replaced this little component right here, the solenoid, and he said he should be ready to rock and roll. He's excited for Monster Jam Freestyle. He's ready for these track conditions, John. Well, you know, I think I saw Matt Pagliarulo and Jester pull in just behind you during the end of that pit report. But it's funny because you hold up a part like a solenoid, and I think these Monster Jam fans can really appreciate. We have 12,000-pound machines out here, and there's a part that fits in the palm of your hand, and that can upset the balance, and it can mean the difference between not only winning a competition and losing, but even being able to compete in the competition at all. So, Kay, that is great stuff, as always. For everybody else here in the stands, you should make your way back to your seats and settle in for Monster Jam Freestyle because it is going to be unbelievable. Our drivers are going to be able to come out here and do whatever they want for a full two minutes. Tear this track apart and you're going to want to look for a few things as the official judges using all the obstacles that you see. The creativity, the flow, the balance, the momentum. Of course you're looking for the technical moves. You're looking for the combinations. But when we're talking about Monster Jam Freestyle, we're talking about that little extra. We are talking about the wow factor. And the conditions here in Foxborough with the mud, with the water, it is prime for some wow factor moments. But keep in mind that a driver must complete at least 30 seconds of that two minutes to qualify for your score. Settle back in for Monster Jam Freestyle coming your way in just a few moments. Hey, New England, it's time for you, the fans, to get Monster Jam Freestyle started. Everybody, take out your flashlights. We're about to do this thing. It's going to be up to you to get this thing started. Your flashlights, hold them up, and I want you to follow the beat. Here we go. Up, down, up. Keep it going.
Ladies and gentlemen, we've reached the pinnacle of today's event. This is Monster Jam Freestyle! Hang on just a second. The clock is paused right there. 87 seconds remain for Shaker and Ryan Disharoon. But now I'm being told that the run is over for exceeding the boundaries. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Shaker. He will receive your score from judgeszone.com. So head on over there right now to lock it in but he will receive a one point deduction from whatever you award him at judgeszone.com. He did fill the 30 seconds, but he did not fill at least one minute. So let's see what you came up with. Remember, this is gonna be your score, minus one for Shaker and Ryan Disharoon. Little bit of bad luck there, but you cannot exceed the boundaries, and that's exactly what he did. 4.987 for Shaker, there's your score to beat. Up next, it's Cody Saussier, Max D. Hang on, once again, the clock is paused. This time, 54 seconds, just under a minute, and there goes Cody Saussier. Seems like the clock is paused once again, but yet there he goes. There's the Morgan and Morgan backflip from Max D. Let's hear it for Cody Saucier, Max D. Twenty seconds to lock in those scores at JudgesZone.com. 
You know, I think if you talk to Cody Sosier to a man right here, right now, he would say those first two competitions did not go his way, but he may have saved his best for last here in Monster Jam Freestyle. Absolutely tearing it up, slip sliding around in the mud, and look at that Morgan and Morgan backflip. The rotation was perfect. The landing was better. That is Cody Sosier doing what Cody Sosier does behind the wheel of Max D, tossing some of those spikes into the stands to the Monster Jam faithful. Will it be enough for the top spot? Let's find out. Look at that score, Cody. 9.418. Max D on top of the game. Coming up next, it's Cole Venard, the Black Pearl. Clock is paused, 39 seconds, just over half a minute remains for Colvinard and the Black Pearl. We're going to see if he can refire. Some of these issues you're seeing might be because of the weather. The rain gets into those Monster Jam trucks and it shuts it down. I've just been told that the run is over. Let's hear it for Black Pearl. And you know what to do. Head on over to JudgesZone.com right here, right now. Use the code FOX to lock in those scores like you've been doing all evening long. For the fans watching live around the world, YouTube, we appreciate the support, but remember your scores will not count if you try to lock them in if you're watching at home. The scores at JudgesZone.com reserved to the fans here in Gillette Stadium. Speaking of, let's see what you came up with for Cole Venard and the Black Pearl. 6.426, that's enough to take over second place. Not nearly enough for your top spot. Monster Jam fans, if you're having a good time, let me hear you say, whoop, whoop. Yeah. Let's now look at the Monster Jam video board. Sorry, I threw in a little, little John there. Uh, mon <laughs> let's spin the Monster Jam wheel right now. Whatever it lands on, that's what we gonna do. And it lands on the flex cam. So let's see them all around Gillette Stadium because we're going to put you up on the Monster Jam video board. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for playing Flex Cam. Oh, we always had someone great there. Hey, 
I'm ready for some more Monster Jam. Who's ready for more Monster Jam Freestyle? Representing Tom Foolery Motorsports, it's time to release the Kraken, Nick Pagliarulo! The clock is paused. It was an unbelievable leap right there from Kraken and Nick Pagliarulo. We'll see if he can refire. Looking inside of that Monster Jam truck. He is still strapped in, which is always a good sign. Adjusted his visor right there. Can't see exactly which components he is messing around with, but you know he is radioing with his crew chief, seeing if he can fire that Monster Jam truck. He came out to a huge ovation hit one big time jump and the clock paused immediately and there you can see his crew on headset trying to communicate with him some of the jcb dirt squad making their way out inching out with that jcb loader again i have not been given word yet by the monster jam officials that the run is over we're going to give him every opportunity to refire for all the fans in the house hang on ladies and gentlemen they are going to check out the kill switch in the rear of that monster jam truck all these Monster Jam trucks are equipped with a switch in the back of the chassis that will shut it off. And sometimes when they hit a big jump, it will just hit that switch and shut off the Monster Jam truck. So they're going to make their way to the back of that Monster Jam truck over by the boundaries. There you can see some of our recovery team radioing in with him, telling him you can fire that truck. They're giving him the signal. Once again, if you look on, you can see that official waving their hand in a circle. That's telling Nick that he can fire that Monster Jam truck. If he is trying and he cannot, that means the run may come to an end. There you see the hook has been attached. And ladies and gentlemen, we've given him every opportunity we can. But unfortunately, the run has come to an end for Kraken, for Nick Pagliarulo. Let's get a huge round of applause for Nick, leaving it all out on the track right there. He will not get a score at judgeszone.com. But we do have the opportunity right now to check in with our pit reporter, Kay Young. Kay, what do you got for us? Well, I'm down here at crew seating talking to Austin Tweedy. He is one of the crew chiefs there for Tom Fullery Motorsports. You had radio communication. You were hearing what was going on. So walk us through what happened. Unfortunately, there's some electrical issues with the truck. We're out here in the water in the muddy conditions. We've got something, maybe a ground that's, that's, that's broken right now, and it's just causing the truck to shut off. Because of this mud and, and all this electrical issues, I mean, you're going to have to go back there. You're going to have to power wash these trucks back, and then you're, are you going to be able to diagnose the problem for next week? And unfortunately, the problems don't stop there. You know, this could lead on into next week sometimes. We've seen it in the past. It just messes up all the solenoids, all the grounds on the truck, and we gotta, we got to chase every single one of them. Well, thank you for your time. I appreciate everybody. It's Austin Tweedy. He is the crew chief for Tom Fullery Motorsports. You know, that's a little bit of bad luck right there for the entire team, but specifically Nick Pagliarulo, the man behind the wheel. We have seen that before, like Austin mentioned. Sometimes water gets into these monster jam chucks, and it might not only be an issue here today. It might be an issue in Denver next week. It might even be an issue all the way up to Monster Jam World Finals a month from now. You never know. You do not want water inside the components of these monster jam trucks. But in the meantime, take a look up at the video board, and there you'll see Max D right now very, very far in the lead, 9.418. He's the only driver over the nine-point threshold, the eight-point threshold, the seven-point threshold. you got to go all the way back, three full points behind to find Cole Venard and the Black Pearl, and then Shaker and Ryan Disharoon rounding out your top three. We got plenty more coming your way, so I got a question. Foxborough, who's ready for more Monster Jam Freestyle? 
We're going to get back into things with John Gordon, Bad Company. Thirty seconds left for Bad Company. Let's hear it for John Gordon, Bad Company. You have 20 seconds to lock in those scores at judgeszone.com. You know, you got a feel for John Gordon right there. He came out firing on all cylinders, but then it seemed like towards the middle of that run, you saw the smoke start to come out of that Monster Jam truck, and it looks like the transmission is slipping, and he just could not push the truck any further than he did. It definitely put a monkey wrench in the run a little bit there. So like I said, you got a feel for him. Very good effort. Let's see what you came up with from judgeszone.com. 6.594, he did do enough to take over second place, but still not near that top spot with Max D. Speaking of those scores, let's take another look up at the video board. Max D still all alone by a wide margin in that top spot, but Bad Company and John Gordon is going to push everybody else down the ladder one rung. He'll slide into second. Black Pearl goes down into third, and that means Shaker and Ryan Disharoon falls into fourth place. Still plenty more trucks to come here in Monster Jam Freestyle. And remember, heading into this competition, after the first half, we had a tie atop the leaderboard for the overall event championship championship between Black Pearl and JCB Digatron. So nothing is decided with regards to the overall event championship here in Gillette yet. Let's take another look up at the video board and remind everybody, there you see this uh, is the series standings, the series points. Gravedigger still in the lead, but JCB Digatron was able to close that gap back down to 61 points. That's around where he started the event. Remember, Gravedigger was able to get it all the way up to 70 points after winning JCB Racing. But then, off the strength of the win in the skills challenge, Digatron able to climb back. And that is all but guaranteed that we will not see a clinch here today. And you know what, Kay? Let's check back in here while we have the opportunity. We have not seen, or we will not see, it feels like, a clinch here today for Gravedigger and Tyler Menninger. 
It definitely doesn't sound like it, John, right now, and we're going to probably have to move that series season championship clinch to next week into Denver. But just keep in mind to all of our Monster Jam fans that those RPMs are running pretty high, especially with how tacky this dirt is as we continue on to see the rest of the field of competition. Another thing for these Monster Jam fans to look at while they are here in the stands. Another thing for them to look for, I should say, during all of these runs. Let's get back into the freestyle action. We're going to do it in a big way. The 2019 Freestyle World Finals Champion, Lindsey Reed, Lucas Stabilizer. Less than 30 seconds left for Lucas Stabilizer. We might see another Morgan and Morgan backflip. Make some noise for Lindsey Reed, Lucas Stabilizer. 20 seconds to lock in those scores at judgeszone.com. She lands the backflip as time expires. A very good run right there from the former freestyle world champion, Lindsey Reed. She is out of Lucas Stabilizer. The fans here in Gillette love it. But did you love it enough to give her the top spot? Will we see a new leader? That is the question. The score to beat is a big one. 9.418. The score for Lucas Stabilizer is... Just enough! New leader, Lindsay Reed. Look at that backflip to perfection as time expired. And you can see right there, she needed to land that backflip. Foxborough, look how close those scores are. 9.418 was the lead going in. 9.463 is the lead coming out. And the former world champion finds herself back on top of the leaderboard yet again. Wow. Up next, it's Matt Pagliarulo, Jester.
Hang on, the clock is paused. 99 seconds, right on the button. Jester is refired, but can he make his way out of the mud? He can. The clock is paused yet again for Jester. Matt Pagliarulo finds himself in a better spot and he is ready to rock. Thirty seconds left. Let's hear it from Matt Pagliarulo, Jester. You have 20 seconds to lock in those scores at judgeszone.com. Matt Pagliarulo pushing that truck to the absolute limit. We heard from Kay during halftime that he replaced a solenoid. And it looked like maybe some of those steering issues came back up here in the freestyle competition. This time maybe with the front steer. It looked like after he got started, he couldn't quite control the Monster Jam truck the way we're used to seeing and certainly the way he would want to do it. Either way, let's see your scores. 5.2, 5.2. That ain't going to get it done here tonight. Coming up next, it's Jamie Garner, El Toro Loco. Jamie Garner hard at work on his Monster Jam truck, and he is coming all the way back from the crash area, making it back in time here for Monster Jam Freestyle. A little bit of posturing there from Jamie Garner to Gravedigger and Tyler Meninga. And Tyler Meninga just waves him off.
54 seconds frozen on the clock for Jamie Garner and El Toro Loco. Just under a minute to work with if he can refire that Monster Jam truck. Good look inside the cab as he is trying to get it refired. Once again, maybe those electrical issues rearing their ugly head for another competitor. With the rain and the mud, you can never be too sure. But either way, he did enough not only to get a score at JudgesZone.com if he can't continue, but he also did enough to not have a point deducted by six seconds. So we'll see if he can refire. Ladies and gentlemen, I've just been given word that he will not be able to refire. Electrical issues continue to plague him. Let's hear it for El Toro Loco. Scoring is open at JudgesZone.com. F-O-X is the code. And remember, not only does he get that score, but he will not, I repeat, will not be deducted a point because he was able to fill at least one minute. Jamie Garner and what is left of El Toro Loco, leaving it all out on the track. Let's see what you came up with. There it is, 6.985, not a bad score, all things considered. Third place right now for El Toro Loco, but the score to beat is still with Lucas Stabilizer. Monster Jam fans, we're gonna have a little fun here in the stands. We're gonna play something called Name That Truck. Yeah, we're gonna name that truck. So let's go ahead and put up this puzzle and let's see if our fans here can guess which truck this is. Okay, yes. All right, shout it out if you know it. Is it the dog thing? What's the name? Megalodon. 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 Are you sure? Megalodon. 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 Why do you, hold on. It is. It is Megalodon. Congrats. That is called Name That Truck. Now, I got one question for you guys. Who's ready for more Monster Jam Freestyle? Great job for the Monster Jam fans out in the stands. While we have a moment before El Toro Loco is brought back to his pit stall, let's check in with Kay Young. Kay, what do you got for us? Well, this is just to let you know, Jamie Garner and El Toro Loco, he sits about two feet wider than the rest of these Monster Jam trucks, which also helps for a little bit of stability here out on the track, especially with these conditions. You saw how he was moving around so easily on these rounds of racing. That was because he was able to have that stabilization with the two feet a little bit wider than the rest, and so able to make those turns a little bit more efficient. Also here, you can see on the Monster Jam Freestyle, he wasn't hiking up. He wasn't worried about really hiking up and, and potentially rolling over. And that, again, has to do with a little bit of that stability, that two feet longer or wider than the rest of these Monster Jam trucks, John. You can see that it definitely made a difference, like you said, in the racing competition, of course. But for what he was able to do in Monster Jam Freestyle, landing very smooth. It's unfortunate that those electrical issues came back to bite him in the end. Coming up next, it's Bryce Kitty, Great Clips, Mohawk Warrior.
30 seconds left. Is he lining up for a Morgan and Morgan backflip? Yes, he is. Make some noise for Bryce Kitty, Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. 20 seconds to lock in those scores at judgeszone.com. He is able to stick the landing, but at what cost? Well, the cost of a Monster Jam truck. Fans sitting on this side of the stadium saw how hard that landing was from Bryce Kenny. Definitely doing some damage to the rear end. But you know what? Just like in baseball, you'll trade a broken bat for a hit. You will trade a broken Monster Jam truck for a freestyle lead. And that man is hyped up and with good reason. But the question now becomes, Foxborough, was it enough? The score to beat, Lucas Stabilizer, 9.463. The score for Great Clips, Mohawk Warrior is... It is not nearly enough. Third place, score to beat. Lucas Stabilizer, Kay Young, standing by. What do you got for us, Kay? Well, I'm hanging out with Jamie Garner, driver of El Toro Loco. And I think what's so cool about the series season's championship is you definitely are, you know, trying to battle it out on the track. And we saw the kind of gestures towards Tyler Menning and Gravedigger. But you've been cheering on. You were cheering on Bryce Kenny, the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. What do you think potentially all happened there? You know, honestly, off the track, we're all buddies. On the track, we all want to beat each other, plain and simple. You know, Bryce just rocked it out. Every single one of us want to do the same thing for all the Monster Jam fans. We all want to win. We all want to rock this place. Talk to us a little bit about what happened to your Monster Jam truck as they park uh, Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. You know, it looked like when he landed on the rear, it folded up a four link, which probably took out the shocks on the left side. He's got one of the best crew guys, UNOH grad. That boy will have that thing fixed in no time tonight. Thank you so much, Jamie Garner, driver of El Toro Loco. We've got three competitors left. There are three good ones you are going to want to see. Coming up first, it is the two-time World Finals champion, Todd LaDuke, Megalodon. Look at all those Monster Jam trucks covered in mud, covered in dirt, just the way they should be. And here comes Todd. The Morgan and Morgan backflip, but he cannot save it. Let's hear it for Megalodon.
Todd LaDuke always firing on all cylinders, coming out here in a big way. He could smell the freestyle victory. He was doing everything he could, even went a little bit earlier than we've seen from some of these other drivers for that Morgan & Morgan backflip. Really almost a corkscrew, gets a little bit too much rotation, cannot land flat. And sometimes you can save it when you end up on your side, but here in the mud, here with the slick track, there was no chance he was going to find himself back on all four tires. Remember the score to beat, though, it belongs to Lucas Stabilizer, 9.463. The score for Megalodon is... It's another good score, top four, but not enough for your top spot. Score to beat will remain with Lindsey Reed and Lucas Stabilizer. Monster Jam fans, let's have a little bit of fun. We're going to play something called Finish the Lyric, okay? The DJ is going to play a song by the Backstreet Boys. And everyone here, I want to hear you shout it out, the lyrics, when they cut off the music, okay? So let's do it. DJ. Come on. Y'all know this song, come on. Everybody! You sound beautiful, Gillette Stadium! Thank you for playing Finish the Lyric. Now, let's send it down to Kay. Jabari, thank you. I'm hanging out with the crew chief, Frankie Yeva, and he's the crew chief for Todd uh, LaDuke and Megalodon. I know you're going to have a lot of work. We just saw that. But, I mean, the camaraderie that you two have, I mean, the, the relationship that you two have, especially being a new crew chief, a technician here, what's it been like this entire season with him? Uh, it's been really great. I mean, in the beginning, it was kind of rough for us. We were trying to get our flow into things, but as we kept progressing throughout the season, we just kept getting better and better in our chemistry, and it shows. We started off in like six or seventh or something like that, but we kept going up, and now we're in third and trying to go for that second place spot before the season ends. I want to talk a little bit about what the communication is like. Some drivers like to have a lot of chatter in their ears. Some like a dead silent. What is Todd like when he's going through a freestyle run? When he's going through a freestyle run, he likes to know, like, tell, uh, tell him when it's, uh, how much time he's got, 90, 60, and then 30. Around, like, 30 is when we like to do our backflip. And uh, I try to just motivate him, like, tell him, like, oh, keep going, keep going, let's do this and see what we can do. Frankie, thank you so much. And I know you're going to have a late night, but we appreciate all your hard work, everyone. Frankie Eva, he is the UNOH technician for Todd LaDuke and Megalodon. It's been a little while since we have checked in to the freestyle leaderboard. And now with only two competitors left, you still got Lucas Stabilizer sitting on the top. And that would loom large because Lindsey Reed, the former freestyle world champ, is looking for her first freestyle win on the season. And that's what's on the line. She's got a good score. It's very high. But in my experience, it is not completely insurmountable we saw one great lead change when she took the top spot away from max d and cody Saucier. we've seen a couple of close calls for great clips and megalodon so will this score hang on for lucas stabilizer two more trucks till we find out And the first of those two competitors is a world champion in his own right in the racing competition. It's Tristan England, J.C.B. Digatron.
30 seconds left. Looks like he's lining up for a Morgan and Morgan backflip attempt. And the combo, and he's still going. Make some noise for Tristan England, JCB Digatron. 20 seconds to lock in those scores at judgeszone.com. It's up to new you, New England. What an ovation for that man right there, leaving it all out on the track. You want wow moments? Look no further from that run. You want a perfect backflip? You got it. You want an accommodation out of the backflip? You got that too. The question is, will it be enough? The score to beat 9.463. The score for Digatron is. It is not enough. Foxborough, I know that some of you are unhappy with the score. And I know that here in New England, you are not afraid to voice your displeasure. But remember, you are the judges at JudgesZone.com. You don't like the scores, you can change them by taking out your phone and heading on over to JudgesZone.com. And here comes Tyler Meninga, Grave Digger. Hang on a second, the clock is paused. 85 seconds remain for Tyler Menninger and Gravedigger. He is refired. some noise for Tyler Meninga, Grave Digger. 20 seconds to lock in those scores at JudgesZone.com. You know, Foxborough, I know we've talked about it a lot, and I promise it's the last time I'm going to mention the weather, but I think if the track is dry and conditions are perfect, Tyler Meninga saves that truck 
on just one BKT tire, but instead he takes a high bounce and he cannot swing the truck back over. He winds up on his lid. You can see it right here on the super glue, glued to the action replay. Right here is where I thought he was gonna get the traction, but he could not do it. He leaves 41 seconds on the clock. All he can do is shrug. All in all, a very good run and a deserving ovation for Tyler Meninga, who never sits out of play. Let's see what you came up with for Gravedigger. 7.124, not enough. That means your freestyle winner for the first time this season, the champ is back, Lindsey Reed, Lucas Stabilizer. What an ovation right there for the 2019 Freestyle World Champion. And how appropriate that somebody dressed in red, white, and blue would win freestyle here in the home of the Patriots. We're going to get the opportunity to hear from Lindsey Reed in just a moment. She is making her way over to the tunnel. She is making her way over to k young our pit reporter foxborough gillette stadium one more time for your freestyle winner lindsay reed lindsay this is reminiscent of 2019 world finals freestyle it must be something with the weather it must be something with the rain and mud i know i'm telling you man i was feeling it out here i'm not gonna lie i was a little nervous this track was super tricky but you know what i wanted to do it for team lucas oil see lucas stabilizer this has been so epic this truck is awesome and you know what i did this for all you little girls out there you guys dare to dream big and live without fear and you can do anything But was it enough for the overall event championship? 30 total points on the big screen. Your overall event champion is... It's JCB Digatron. Tristan England gets overall event victory number two on the year. He embraces his fellow Texan, Lindsey Reed, and he staves off elimination for one more week. There's your winner, Tristan England. Congratulations, the overall event champion, and you held off Tyler Meninga and Gravedigger from clinching here this weekend. That's got to feel good all around the board. Oh, my goodness. I came into this weekend, and all I wanted was good because we, this is my first time ever here in Foxborough, and we talk about the history behind Foxborough, man, and Gillette Stadium, you patriots. There's nothing more patriotic than being right here at Gillette Stadium, baby, and we got the W. It feels so good. But, no, i got to get real with you guys. It takes so many hours, so many man hours and women that we have crewing on these trucks. Our UNOH technicians, they work week in and week out. And my man, Howie, right here, number one technician at Monster Jam, and we're telling you why. And we're having a blast. I know Kiara and Crash are watching at home. My parents, I love you guys. I'm bringing this thing home, and we're going to Denver, and we're on the next one. Foxborough, can you dig it? What a day, what an evening, what a night to close us out here in Gillette Stadium. Congratulations to Tristan England and off the strength of that victory, he lives to fight another day. Jabari Thomas, you were hanging out with these fans all night long. What was your takeaway, man? Wow, of course, the takeaway of this entire event are the fans right here in New England. I enjoyed every last one of you in the stands. And one thing, John, I got a chance, this was my first time, I'm in Boston to try one of those delicious lobster rolls. Oh, it was heaven. It was heaven. I have enjoyed you so much, New England. Thank you so much.
It is always a pleasure to come here to Gillette Stadium for Jabari Thomas and Kay Young. My name is John Sapanero. We hope you had fun, and we'll see you at the next Monster Jam. The key's in the ignition, so drivers fire your engines. It's a battle to the end, never give up, no. never give in. It's grit and guts, dirt and dust. Get out your seat and put your hands up. Let's ride, we got the green light, it's a party in the pit tonight. Let's go. It's wheelies and backflips, donuts and burnouts and walk it full throttle, head to head. You be the judge of which truck's gonna win. Let's ride, we got the green light, it's a party in the pit tonight. Let's go, this is how we roll on tires that are larger than life. Doesn't matter where you're from, it's running through your blood. Time to get loud, everybody buckle up. To the greatest show on dirt, it's the monster.